Hey folks, Chief here with Crazy Faith. It is November 4th, 2015. It's a Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month. So I'm just getting back from Nisqually Home Church at Robert and Cheryl McLeod's. Now, if you're in the Nisqually Res area, we have um, Nisqually Home Church every first and third Wednesday of the month, six o'clock at Robert and Cheryl's house. We've been there a number of years. So we're just kicking it old school they're still so they're stuck with us and i love it because you know what things things are are a work in progress as as we all are but i do know that there's great things that are just weeping out into the community because we're just being there we're sowing so it brings me to our verses I'm going to start right off with these. Um, I started with Galatians 1, 10. So Galatians chapter 1, verse 10. And it says, For am I seeking favor of people or God? We need to ask ourselves that periodically. Am I seeking favor of people or God? At Crazy Faith, I'm praying that we're seeking favor with God. Um, it says, or am I striving to please people? If I were still pleasing people, I am not a servant of God. See, if we're just striving to, you know what, even be politically correct, that is just something that is just riddling our country right now. Sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Um, being completely submerged in this politically correct stuff is causing division like no tomorrow it, even more than race was back in the day it seems and the racist remarks and stuff it's this politically correct stuff because they're seeking favor of people and we need to get back to the basics and start seeking favor of god i am a ser servant of god and i want to be seeking favor from him um, I then kicked it over to Galatians, Galatians chapter 13, verse 8. And it says, this is a parable. It's the parable of the sower. And it says, consider the sower who went out to sow. As he was sowing, some seeds fell among, al along the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on rocky ground. Um, where there wasn't much soil, and they sprang up quickly since the soil wasn't deep. Verse 6, but when the sun came up, they were scorched, and, and since they had no root, they withered. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns came up and choked them out. Still others fell on good ground and produced a crop. Some are a hundred, some are sixty, some are thirty times what was sown. See, we need to be out there just sowing. Don't get discouraged, folks. Everywhere you're sowing, there's, there's bound to be some good soil at some point. And so don't get discouraged. If, if I went out to the streets and, and I went to the places that we've been going for years and I went out there and I, I pistol whipped them with some Bible verses and, and then I went back the next day and they weren't um, what traditionally people would think, all clean cut, shaved, dressed nice, um, filled with the Holy Spirit, enrolled in Bible college, set up for 84 different courses at their church, an usher, working in the nursery, all these different things. If they weren't submerged into all of what the cookie cutter is supposed to look like, and I got all discouraged, folks... <laughs> I wouldn't go back to the streets. But see, Crazy Faith, we sow Costco style. We dump truck seeds. We go back with a fire hose and we just love them and, and encourage them. And then when there is one little tiny bit of harvest, one single grain of harvest, if all of heaven celebrates when there's just one we here on earth need to celebrate just one as well and we need to be sowing not because again not because we're pistol whipping people with bible verses but because we are being it so if you are the only bible someone's reading how are they reading you 
because of just your everyday life? Can they look at you and go, you know what? There's something. I don't know what it is, but there's something. I, I'm going to ask them, what is it about you? There you're always, you, you, you help others. Um, you hold the door for someone. You say hi to everybody. You, you help people out in different ways that you don't think is noticed. They're going to start asking because you're just living it, living the Bible. So we had some other, um, we had a great turnout Michelle's feeling better. Continue to pray for Denise. She's still sick. Um, but you know what? Cheryl is staying strong. Continue to pray for her family. She's staying strong with this transition. Um, after Ray, her father, passed away the other week. And we had a celebration of life the other day. And it was a great, a great, great service. What's coming up? Well, this Saturday, November 7th, anywhere in the U.S., Billy Graham is calling for a day of proclamation. You can go to, to Billy Graham website and you can actually watch the videos. There's a number of videos. You can watch any of them at your house. Invite some people, watch, watch the video, and you know what? Contact Billy Graham and, 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 and let them know should anybody decide to ask God into their heart. And, and they want to document some of this information so that they can, they can just gauge all the different things. So I want you to go to myhopewithbillygram.org and there's the My Hope videos on there. I love the one that's called The Cross. It, it, I get saved every time I watch it. So it's a half an hour long. Invite some people over and have a great night with them. I love you, I'm proud of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Hoyt.